So here I am at a place called Suburban Lawn and Garden. And up until just recently, I actually thought that this was like a national chain. I only just <laughs> researched it and realized that it's family owned. Um, it's big, it's a, a, a nursery, and they have a lot of uh, native plants that are grown locally on farms around here. And it's huge. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a, a really great store. It's located at Kansas Highway 7 and Prairie Star Parkway. And um, if you have a garden in mind, then uh, the people here can help make it happen. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we can find. I really, I need some pink. I won't be opposed to pink. And I need a lot of herbs. So let's go in there and see what we can find. tables of herbs. Fairly reasonable prices. So let's dig in there a little bit closer and see what we can find. They have a vast array of tropicals. I personally don't do tropicals because I don't live in the tropics and I'd have to mimic that condition in my house and just change my environment sort of and my cats could eat them. So I just don't do, I shy away from tropicals. But they have a beautiful, beautiful array of tropicals here. Lots of garden ornaments. They have a lot of shade plants. Let's see. And I'll turn around this way. And a lot of statuary. And lots and lots of pots. Please watch your children. Well, nobody had to tell my mama that. It doesn't look like they have them out yet, but you can definitely get your pond plants here as well. I've got lots and lots of pond plants here. None of them live very long because my pond was too shallow. Oh, and golf carts to go out and look at a vast array of trees and shrubs that they have. This place is huge. They have everything. And sadly, right now, you can't get your free popcorn. It's really good popcorn, really good. My husband comes here just for the popcorn. <laughs> if you want a big giant cactus in your house, you know where to get it. And the really, really big tropicals back here. And the little baby succulents. This is a succulent collector's dream. The tropicals are not guaranteed. It's very relaxing. Helps you shop longer. These are really cute. $25. Just kind of different. Let's see if I can find the seeds. Yeah, and then finally, it's like everything you can imagine to decorate with and feed birds with and just hooks and just everything you can imagine. Crocs, garden crocs, grass seed, all kinds of expert advice. And then I love their seed collection here. New seeds arriving weekly. So if you can't find it now, you could always come back in a week. Just not the biggest store in the area for seeds. I mean the biggest selection because we have an actual seed store in downtown Kansas City, Missouri. But this is, you could find some pretty good, pretty good seeds here. And then finally for the farmer gardener, they have this. I have 65 gladiola bulbs. I don't need any more. Uh, I don't know about putting in anything right now, food-wise. I think I'll wait. And then all your doctoring stuff for all your soils. 
all your amendments, bug sprays, that kind of stuff. And then they have a tool section. So this is a pretty good store that just specializes in plants, <laughs> gardening of any kind. And normally it's really, really helpful uh, sales staff. I haven't read a lot of their um, reviews about if you special order stuff, but I know that while you're here, oh, gooseberry, oh, I gotta grab a gooseberry. They're very helpful. Oh, I see some fun stuff here. Let's shop here. All right, before I leave, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I chose. I have to close my eyes when I walk through Buddhas because I want one so bad. Yeah, I don't want one that bad because Lord knows I've spent enough. So I went ahead and got two gooseberries, picked swell gooseberries because they do grow native down there, but I don't know if they have any on my land. Got lots of lemongrass. Um, I got my parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Of course, I had to get my Scarborough Fair garden. Uh, what else? Some fennel. Uh, lots of thyme. Some different lavenders down in there. Basil, basil's really easy to start, but I just wanted to plant some and I go back down this weekend without starting it from seed. Lavender, sorrel, um, just fun stuff. Nesturium, so caraway, Roman chamomile, just some fun stuff. Mother of time. Forest, rosemary. Lockwood Forest Rosemary, and uh, Beer Garden Sage. So yeah, so that's it. Well, thanks for coming with me, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out or this is gonna get way, way long. <gasps> Are those orchids? <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at that. What a beautiful place to stop this video. All right, y'all, love and light.